In the first half of 2020, global oil demand dropped by 11% and OPEC lowered their crude oil production by a total of 9.7 million barrels per day to prop up prices and reduce oversupply. Though leading top producers on the continent have remained on the top but by narrow margins, with countries like Nigeria and Angola producing between 25 to 30 percent less in 2021 than in 2019. Now, as OPEC gradually eases production cuts, African producers are seeking to ramp up production to the level it was before the COVID 19 pandemic amid a rebound in oil prices and heightened exploration drive. As we round down this countdown, Consider subscribing to our channel if you're new and turn on our notification to always get notified each time we drop a video. Stay tuned. Chad Estimated to hold 1 billion barrels of oil reserves, Chad derives the majority of its crude from the Doba Basin in the southern part of the country. Major operators include ExxonMobil and Shell, the former of which operates the Chad Cameroon Development Project that transports crude from oil fields in southern Chad via pipeline to a marine terminal in Cameroon for exports. Chad's crude oil production currently sits at 109,000 barrels per day. Equatorial Guinea Equatorial Guinea is a significant oil producer in Africa. Crude oil produced by the country is primarily extracted from the Alba, Zafiro and Seba regions. As a result of the recent increase in the extraction of petroleum, the country's economy has grown significantly. In fact, during the period from 1997 to 2001, the country experienced an average GDP growth of 41.6% per year. Equatorial Guinea's Ministry of Mines and Hydrocarbon is targeting $1.1 billion in foreign direct investment into the oil and gas sector in 2021. Serving as its most prolific asset, Equatorial Guinea's crude oil production is presently 153,000 barrels per day. Gabon at crude oil production of 160,000 barrels per day, Gabonese oil production declined due to the maturity of several fields and insufficient investments to renew production bases, compounded by the OPEC-led production cuts that have reduced output by over 100,000 barrels per day. As a result, the country is seeking to attract new investment into offshore exploration. Furthermore, Following revisions to the Hydrocarbons Code and its promulgation in early 2019, hopes are high that a revised and more flexible regulatory framework will translate into new capital and technology injections into the sector. Ghana Strong output from the 10 oil fields in conjunction with rising foreign investment in offshore basin development has granted Ghana a favorable long-term production outlook. Thanks to new fields coming on stream, in particular, the Ake operated deep water Tano Cape. Crude oil production is expected to be more than double from 189,000 to 420,000 barrels per day by 2023. The Norwegian operator is also currently working on its $4.4 billion pecan field, which is estimated to contain between 600,000 and 1 million barrels of oil per day. The Republic of the Congo. Offshore oil and gas dominate the extractive sector in the Republic of the Congo and the country has been able to mitigate its production decline by bringing several projects online over the past decade, including its first deep water field, Moho Bilongdo. In a bid to boost exploration activities, a multi-client airborne gravity gradient survey is currently being conducted in the covered basin area. Meanwhile, Zenith Energy secured a new 25-year license at the start of the year to continue to operate the tilapia oil field. The Congo's crude oil production currently sits at 271,000 barrels per day. Egypt With crude oil production of 560,000 barrels per day, Egypt has its sights set on changing those figures and $1 billion has been rolled out to that cause for new oil and gas exploration in the western desert between 2021 and 2022. Furthermore, between July 2014 and June 2020, 84 petroleum agreements were signed by the government of Egypt and international operators for oil and gas exploration, with investments totaling $14.8 billion, in addition to grants of about $1.1 billion. 
to drill 351 wells. Algeria With the largest oil reserves on the continent, Algeria enjoys a relatively stable rate of production of around 1.1 million barrels per day pre-COVID-19, although output has faced decline in recent years. With the decline in output, present crude oil production sits at 874,000 barrels per day. As a result, the government has pledged to boost oil and gas exploration activity in partnership with international operators by reforming state-owned sonar track and implementing a new hydrocarbon law designed to reverse declining foreign upstream investment. Angola The oil production in Angola was measured at 1.14 million barrels per day in February 2021, keeping the same trend recorded in the previous month. Compared to February 2020, the output decreased by 1.54 million barrels per day. That same year, the country produced on average 1.3 million barrels of oil daily, the lowest level in the last 15 years. Currently, Angola's challenge lies in reversing this decline in production, as oil and gas activities has enormous influence on the country's economy. Libya Following a blockade against the country's oil export terminals that sank production to under 200,000 barrels per day, Libya had resumed its pre-blockade output levels at the close of 2020 and is set to stabilize production in 2021. The Libyan government recently approved a $1.6 billion budget to the National Oil Corporation for oil field development and infrastructure maintenance, which will enable the corporation to reach its targets of 1.6 million barrels per day within two years. Libya's present crude oil production is 1.17 million barrels per day. Nigeria Leading the pack, Nigeria is set to grow its hydrocarbon sector with the launch of more than 100 oil and gas projects over the next five years, including 25 upstream projects. The Nigerian Petroleum Development Corporation has pledged to boost production by 250,000 barrels per day over the next two years to step up from the present 1.36 million barrels per day. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation recently signed a deal with Shell, ExxonMobil and Total to develop an offshore oil block that includes the Deepwater Bunga field, unlocking up to $10 billion in new investment and adding 150,000 barrels per day to domestic output. These are the top 10 largest oil producing countries in Africa so far in the year 2021. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.